Hello, and welcome back to The Sweet Spot with Deanda. Today, I'm going to talk about a few tips that you can use to apply for a job um, and things that you can make sure that is present on your personal branding tools, i.e. your resume and or LinkedIn profile, your Indeed or ZipRecruiter profile, um, which is where your resume may um, already be posted, is one of the the first things um, that you should, I want to say first things, but one of the things that you should necessarily pay attention to and make sure that is present are the keywords that are, um, that resonate in the field that you are in. Um, there are certain keywords for people who are in the tech field, people who are in IT. There are different um, keywords that are people who are in finance. So you find those keywords and you make sure that your personal branding tools are saturated with those keywords. You make sure that your personal branding tools have those words um, front and center. So when, you know, your um, personal branding tool is viewed before it even runs through the machine to see if you are qualified and you have all the things, um, is, oh, I want to speak to this person. I want to see if this person can do for me what they've done at their present for their present employer or past employer, right? So you want to make sure you have those keywords. The second thing is, and I always say this, is your personal branding tools are what speaks for you until you're invited to that interview, until you're invited for that role, right? So it's saying, hey, you know, Deanda is the, you know, right person. Um, you should call her and get her in um, to talk to her and see if she can do what, you know, she did for this other company, the same thing that she can do for you. And that's what your resume should say. And how does it do that? It, it does that by making sure that you are not only... Um, telling the story of the backstory of what you did for a company, but you're um, monetizing it. You're giving all the stats and you're making sure that you're not just giving a laundry list of to-dos for this role. They already know if you're in, um, I don't know, marketing, they already know that you know, they should already, you know, or um, that you have experience in um, uh, B2B or B2C. Um, but tell them how you maintain that brand. Tell them how you speak to the B2B audience or the B2C audience, you know, tell them how you did that and also tell them how you have gained more recognition for the brand by doing that, right? Um, in IT, that's a whole nother lane. Um, you know, tell them exactly how you maintained and built, um, you know, security around um, the company brand that you work for, you know, um, the online security. How did you do that? How many people did you, you know, provide the security for, you know, let them know, monetize it, give me numbers, give me stats. Um, and that's how I know that, wow, you know what you're talking about. You know what you're doing. So those are just a couple of things that I would suggest that you make sure that you have present on your personal branding tools to not only get the job, but to, um, you know, get the knock at the door to say, hey, I want you to come in and talk to me about how you can do the things for me. Thanks so much. And please um, like and subscribe to this video. And we'll see you next time.